My name is Soren Anderson. I am an assistant professor of economics and agricultural food and resource economics at Michigan State University in East Lansing, Michigan. I am currently on leave uh, visiting the uh, Energy Institute at Haas at the University of California, Berkeley. So today's presentation is really kind of an overview of uh, a broad array of uh, academic papers, both by myself and others, trying to uh, share with policymakers uh, some of the key economic, uh, key findings of economic research related to uh, fuel consumption and demand for cars and fuel economy standards. Kind of the key point is that you know, economists agree with everyone else that we're over-consuming uh, fuel and that's leading to side effects like uh, uh, greenhouse gas emissions and other uh, environmental problems. And so and economists overwhelmingly favor a, uh, an increase in fuel prices you know, through some type of fee or tax on, on fuel in order to give um, both consumers and automakers the incentive to shift uh, both to cars that are uh, that consume less fuel and also to do a lot of other behaviors that save fuel like driving less and and uh, and instead of driving walking or taking you know the bus or biking to work. And My goal is just really to give you know average people and policymakers some sense for how you know economists think about you know dealing with uh, the, the social side effects uh, the the problems associated with consuming too much fuel and that uh, they'll incorporate that information uh, when they're designing either you know, fuel economy standards or some other policy uh, to try to, to fight those social side effects. Um, I think, you know, ideally, we'd, we'd, you know, I would hope, and I'm, I'm guessing most of my you know, economist colleagues would hope, uh, that policy would shift from you know, setting standards uh, for vehicle efficiency and trying to directly increase the price of the thing that we think there's too much of, which is fuel consumption. And that we're hoping, you know, and, and based on economic research, we, we feel pretty confident that would create the types of incentives we, we need to get people to reduce their fuel consumption.